In Creole Parametric, you can create freeform surfaces using the Style tool. Let's take a look at how to do that. In a previous video, I made a couple of planar curves inside of a style feature. Let's edit definition to now create a surface using a bunch of edge boundaries and those two planar curves. So now I'm back in the style environment. To create a surface, I can hold down the right mouse button, and here is the surface command. You can also find it in the ribbon. One thing I like about the surface command in ISDX is that you can create a whole bunch of different kinds of surfaces, and it's all one tool. It's all one command, the surface command. You can create loft surfaces, three-sided, four-sided, a whole bunch of different kinds of surfaces, all within the same command. So... If I was doing this in standard mode, I could create a boundary blend with curves in one and two directions. The way that you select your curves in ISDX is different. You will first select sort of like the boundary curves, the outside curves, and then add internal curves for the shape. So to start off, I will pick one edge in the model from the copy geometry feature. If I go to the references tab, here you can see the chain that we're building. And it's not going all the way to where I want it to go. So I'm going to hold down the shift key in order to build a chain. And holding down the shift key for building a chain, that's the same way as doing a boundary blend. Now for the second curve, I'm going to hold down the control key and add that curve. And again, it is not going the full extent, so I will hold down the shift key to build up my second chain there you can see there's a little number two there to indicate it is the second chain now let's hold down control once more and i will pick the edge now hold down the shift key and that way we have our third chain and now for our fourth and final chain for the boundary i will hold down control once more and then hold down the shift key and now you can see a preview of the surface that's being generated. And it's pretty flat. We're not really getting that much here. I do want to point out that you do have tangent conditions that were automatically created for me. Now I will add in the internal curves. You can right mouse click and hold to activate the internal collector. That's the same as this collector from the references tab and this one from the dashboard. As always, multiple different ways to do the same thing. So I will activate the internal collector and let's grab this curve and then I can hold down the control key to add a second curve in there. And there are a few rules to be aware of when you have these internal curves. So for example, they have to go from one side to the other side. Also, these curves have to intersect because otherwise Creo Parametric would not be able to create a surface through them. So that is the surface that would be generated. To finish this off, let's hit the check mark to complete it. And I want to show you another big difference about working in style versus standard mode. Let's say I decide that I want to make a change to a curve, this curve over here. You can select it in edit definition or just double click on it, which is the same thing as edit definition. And actually, let me go back to the style tab to turn on my saved analysis just so I can see the curvature as I am manipulating this. And so I've got the curve. Let me go back to the style curve edit. And if I grab this point and move it, you'll notice that it is updating the other curve, which is a child and the surface as well in real time. So again, that is a big difference with style versus standard mode in standard mode if i was editing the definition of a feature here then all the features below it in the model tree would no longer be visible they would be temporarily suppressed as i'm making those changes but in style even if you're making changes to a parent the children are visible and you can see the changes to the surface updating in real time and let's say I'm happy with making changes to the curve as such. Then I can hit the check mark to complete modifying the curve. And if I'm happy with the style feature, oh, before I hit the check mark, let me turn off the display of that curvature analysis. Now I'll hit the check mark. And there I have my surface created in style. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. 
If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.